I think the society in in China, this kind of dictatorship or authoritarian society, is about mainly they can survive because they're hiding most truth. You know, they are not telling the truth, so they are limited the information for ordinary people to to even to make judgment, to have a balanced view or to even to anticipate because they do, there is not enough information ever. So I I think I'm very much influenced by my father's spirit to to speak out for the truth and uh, to pay the uh, consequence and uh, to to always standing on the part of the majority of people not the power not the government. You know that's what uh, I was influenced by, but of course he would never really encourage us to to be involved in politics because his whole life was damaged by that. It did scare me when I was young, you know, when, when I was uh, when I don't have enough knowledge and enough uh, confidence, so I decided to escape. And I left China on my twenties, and uh, then after twelve years, I went back. By then, I think I'm very much uh, quite uh, e equipped. You know, the whole time in New York, in United States, and uh, I I have grown up a lot, and even I'm just, um, I'm just involved with contemporary art. But I still see how. Um, a kind of democratic society, how it would function, and uh, now I also I cannot say I'm not scared, you know, um, but still, if I decide to stay in China, and if I decide to to share my feelings with the people there, and uh, this it seems no other choice, you have to. Um, uh, stand up to speak out of your your mind and to to say you know we have enough of this and uh, we have to stop it. Look at the world, how many um, you know uh, authoritarian society still exist or or dictatorship still exist, and those ideas and behaving still are a human uh, behaving. You know, China is still a big nation. In the world, mm -hmm. and uh, so what the fate of this nation and the kind of behaving uh, still uh, uh, development of thousands of years, and so I think if you don't look at the from a main street point point of view, you really have a chance to dealing with some matters which most others doesn't even have. You're right in the point. You know, it all depends on how you uh, how you look at those things and uh, and what would come out from the react. I think uh, that's also very important because for, from this kind of house arrest, it made a consciousness of the young generation from eighties. They all know me well, and they they would think, oh, how could they put this artist in? House arrest, you know, that makes them very conscious. Even under the house arrest, 800 people still anticipated this party without me. That also teaches the government today. It's very different. Mm -hmm. Before, if they do did something like that, everybody will be scared. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't work. This kind of house arrest doesn't work. I made about at least 30 interviews during the house arrest. So the whole world would understand, oh, even China is so rich and so powerful, but still it would uh, not allow artists to to have this kind of party. You know, I think that constantly bring up some kind of consciousness. So I think that's about reality and it's about our life. And uh, nobody wants to sacrifice those kind of truths. I'm a 
contemporary artist, and、uh, at the very beginning, I was、uh, you know very rebelling, you know anything old, which I don't even want to pay attention. But after、um, I came back from from New York, I started to pay、uh, a great、um, uh, passion to what happened before. So I start to see, and、uh, trying to understand what it's about, and and, and uh, the craftsmanship and uh, the kind of skills reflects、um, the understanding of this group of people, and、uh, how they survived, and how they read themselves, and、uh, and trying to find a way to dealing with the. You know, to express himself, which is very、uh, impressive to 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 see this kind of logic and、uh, kind of understanding. Of course, today we are in very modern society, contemporary. You know, the way we we understand the craftsmanship and the kind of material and the, and the even the way of making things are very different.、Um, but still. Um, every way of making still reflects、um, a moral on、um, aesthetics and、uh, philosophy.、Mm-hmm. So I think、um, that、uh, is very fascinating part,、mm-hmm. and for me to to go through this、um, our tradition to to figure out how we.、Um, Make judgment how we would、uh, make decisions, and、uh, and to and when and how we would say something which、uh, become have、uh, some kind of、uh, value or or even certain kind of、uh, spiritual power. My re- my relationship really come from、uh, curiosity. Uh, as an artist, of course, you're a craftsman, and、uh, you, you, you always wondering about the material uh, uh, and culture created before you.、Mm-hmm. You know that's only thing carries those message, and you, you know, like today I went through Louisiana Museum. I see the paintings painted in the seventies, eighties. Or fifties, even earlier, or or Jack Mattis、uh, uh, sculpture. Then you're trying to imagine what is happening, why, why Jack Mattis always doing this lonely figure there. What's you know what this portrait mean? You know, you, know, you but if you put in the long history appeared, then you you re, you can easily realize you know what's the struggle there. I mean, even the artist itself doesn't even know that what is a struggle. It only struggles, but doesn't really see as clear as we see it. Same as me, you know, today. And、uh, I, you know, I have to present my work. And very often, even I think I have some ideas, but it's not very clear. You know, it's not、uh, even it's clear, but it may not、uh, be the most interesting point of those works. So those efforts are made, and、uh, and they were judged by the others. They were judged by the others. They were put in the much larger、uh, picture. You know, they will see how those work.、Uh, maybe in this period of time. Are interesting, maybe totally not interesting, in the historical、uh, sense. But as artist, of course, you are somehow limited by your knowledge and your 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 visions. So I I get into、um, uh, tradition not only because I want to learn something, but because really curiosity to see. How in the different period of time, sometimes for hundred years, thousand years, how people would、uh, 
exercise their their aesthetics in on the material uh, culture. You know all those artifacts. Doesn't matter. It's bronze. It's jade. It's a stone or furniture, and uh, silk. And uh, and there has been very uh, strong uh, logic and a strong uh, presentation, and the very very strong reasons for behind it. Some of them are still alive. A lot of them disappeared. Doesn't matter how how strong that was and how you know how. Uh, it's just uh, you know the way. Yes, the the whole twentieth century idea is to be new, to 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 make a new. But the philosophically to make a new is to understanding the old. To destroy the old means you have to have a perfect understanding about it. Otherwise, you cannot really destroy it. So I think uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that's uh, the. That's how we we should, and you know, if we want to give a new definition, we have to know what the old concept is. I think twenty uh, first century we already facing very different problems. We realize the modernism, just trying to be new and to to, to be advanced to to be a superman, and not uh, seems not. Uh, uh, so convincing, you know, because uh, still, one in one way we are we are very advanced, like uh, information technology and uh, internet, you know. But on the other hand, we have a tremendous problem with uh, the resource, with uh, you know, even the social political structure, um, democratic or non-democratic. They all uh, realize there's a limit. There's a, a necessary uh, necessities to 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 rethink our position. First, I I left China because I was very scared. Uh, people from our group has been sentenced uh, over thirteen years or something like that, and uh, as accused the spy or something. You know, very just they just. Uh, Falsely accused. So then you notice when people you know so well in their twenties can be can be crushed by government so easily mm -hmm. and so fragile. You you trying to go out, but anyway, you know you have to just leave this nation. It's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And after being twelve years in New York, I never went back. I decided never go back. And then. China situation had uh, some change because '89 they had a, a big uh, students movement, and uh, I become a much, uh, I think, much more secure on myself, you know, about um, I'm not so fragile anymore. Even in New York, uh, in that 12 years, I don't. I don't have much to do with art actually. I even I always call myself artist. I never really had a other kind of steady job. You know, I never made an effort trying to to establish myself other way. I mean, which is very normal for for uh, new immigrants in, from China. They always trying to to establish themselves in in this new society, which uh, is, to me is not so interesting. I enjoyed the freedom. But also at the same time quite uh, desperate, you know. It's, it's, uh, I don't have a uh, financial base. Mm -hmm. I only make the money which can pay next month's uh, rent. That I would just hanging around, you know. And uh, so that kind of life also add enough actually because um, I have, it doesn't serve any purpose, you know. Today I walk through the uh, museum in uh, Louisiana. I can call, tell every painting, you know, by whom and uh, the time, because I just realize how familiar, mm -hmm. and you know what kind of education I have, even without being in school. Mm -hmm.
that's why I love art, and nothing can re replace it. And uh, so I decide to maybe, it's very vague why this is the reason. I use my father as ill as an excuse, oh. because that's the last excuse I can have to go back to China. But uh, it's not, I don't have any responsibility, you know, I'm not, uh, that time I'm not a very careless person and a very uh, self-centered and uh, doesn't pay much attention to responsibility or stuff like that. But uh, somehow I went back and uh, I made a clear decision not just go back to look but packed everything, move back and uh, stayed. I only asked one question. I said, if I go back, what will be the worst thing happen? Because all my friends said, well, well you're the last person to go back to China because they know all, all know my lifestyle. You know, I'm very much uh, 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 caref uh, careless in, in, in New York. And, uh, and uh, I asked myself one question. I, was, I, I said, you know, what would be the worst thing happen to me is to put me in jail because I was involved with democratic uh, groups in New York. So I asked myself if I can accept that kind of situation, and uh, the answer is yes, so I moved back. Nothing happened, you know, I, was not, I have not, nothing to do, and I don't like China, you know, I, you know, I, I just uh, spend a lot of time in antique uh, market to, to, to start to learn what happened in the past. And uh, I made some underground books to try to promote local culture mm. and uh, build up a first uh, art gallery, art space, and uh, curating shows. Mm. Then gradually, I built my own studio. I become an architect. Mm. So uh, in five, six years, we did uh, like 50, 60 projects. Mm. Then, I realized this would be, if I want to be the architect my whole life to dealing with this kind of problem. Mm. I love architecture first, but we decided not to do it by 2007. And uh, yeah, and by 2004, I started to have art shows. And there's a few opportunities they asked me to show, and I did the show, and uh, same. Uh, I think how because China or artists in China be more recognized, and uh, you know I was kind of lucky, you know, uh, you know I never even think I still can work as an artist, you know, because for years I wouldn't do a piece of art, mm -hmm. and I never had shows. So if I have to look at myself, to not to you know just to make a more like. A, very objective, um, uh, uh, analyzing, I think, some kind of intuition. I don't know, yeah, because many things I did only because I have this uh, instinct or, and later, much later I found out, you know, people realize, or I found out from other people's opinion, this is, uh, you know, something which can be called architecture or or political involvement or activist or writings. But to me, it's really the moment of uh, recognize, you know, kind of consciousness and uh, also to 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 act immediately on, on those matters. I think my influence by Duchamp or Warhol is mainly about in dealing with art or culture, it's a, a, a total phenomenon rather than just some uh, um, aesthetic questions. You know, it's not only um, about um, forms, rather about uh, social uh, behavior, about our and in a culture as uh, human behavior, and uh, and to me uh, those are most uh, um, important uh, and then those artists 
and uh, understand and also made uh, some effort. And uh, for me today, I am using the social political situation also in China and uh, condition also ready made. Uh, this is about same as what they did, but it's just my situation is much broader. It directly relate to not only the art circle, but to ordinary people, to today's politics. All because my understanding uh, about art uh, from Duchamp's influence is not a rather a somebody who makes a work, but rather a lifestyle uh, kind of attitude towards uh, life. So that made me very confident. I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't even have to think I'm a filmmaker or architect or artist. I do what uh, I do and uh, turned out to be okay. Uh, my father and I are in completely different time. And even my father spent some time in the same communist uh, condition, but uh, today are very different from uh, before. <clears throat> uh, in my father's generation, it cost him so much, like 20 years in exile. And before that, it cost him like he was sentenced to six years in jail. And all he did, maybe all together, would be one day my topic on Twitter. You know, whatever I said one day would be, you know, much stronger and uh, contains much more uh, information than they did in their life. And also will be much more people read. So we are in very different time. And uh, also, um, he may just as criticize uh, the some kind of government behaving, but not really totally condemn a society which, uh, which not, uh, not in supporting human rights or, or those basic values. And uh, what I'm dealing today is not only the government, not, not only the, just the, the, the officials, but also the Chinese culture, the, the, the tradition we have, the kind of culture which never really think scientific development on the democracy is important, never think individual uh, freedom is important. So, we are facing very different uh, conditions. And also today I have uh, uh, technical support, you know, uh, and China become more international, more open, you know, has to accept the openness because China has ha want to survive. Mm -hmm. So there are similarities and there are big differences. I think it's uh, uh, the political system come out from Chinese culture. And the Chinese culture are not. Uh, and should should be responsible for what have been uh, there, and, uh, and so that's that is fascinating. You know that means everybody is in in it, and also myself. Uh, through the struggle, I can learn so much about our weakness and uh, our our blindness, you know, uh, many ways we have to uh, try to adjust uh, ourselves in, into the situation. I am uh, spend a lot of time on Twitter, yeah. and the Twitter in Chinese, 140 words is, can be a short novel, you know, can contain a lot of information. So I talk to the people there in, in dealing with daily uh, events, you know, then a lot of people would ask me questions. I would answer just like this, and uh, and uh, it's a time. I think you know it's more or less like writers or or talk show host. 
you know, it's uh, it's so it's quite broad because you don't know what will come out, but at the same time can be very intimate because you're dealing with one individual. You exactly sense, uh, you know, the way they talk and uh, the way you talk. It's it's really attractive. So I I spend most of my time on it. I think I feel very proud of that because uh, that means all my effort are made, which are still valued by others, and uh, I feel I'm part of their voice. I feel this voice may result as a new China, a a, a new condition, which which most people will be. Um, Benefited by the condition, and uh, and China is going to change. This is, an, you know, this is not questionable. So in some time, in other words, I'm taking advantage of that. You know, most people they're either scared or they don't have same kind of. Um, they're not recognized, or they are, even they have the same idea. They 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 cannot be heard. But I can be heard very well, very clearly. Till now, I mean, it seems quite dangerous, but still, I I can take advantage to speak for those people who has no voice, never, for generations, no matter what. It's a very mixed feeling, you know. You, I think I don't believe anybody who said I'm not scared. Even you put me in jail because in jail is. Minutes by minutes, second by second, condition. You know, it's a very bad situation in China. So, in that sense, I'm very scared. You know, I'm much used to ordinary life, comfortable and easy. So, but I don't know. You know, maybe in that condition, I feel more free. You know, how do you know? But uh, still, uh, from today. Being a free man, I I would say, oh, this is not a condition I would would accept. But if、um, because I'm speaking out, many others can can without the same kind of condition, you know, can can reduce the possibility for more people,、uh, like my father's generation, they sacrifice hundred thousands people. That silently, you know, with all the insult, with all kind of,、um, you know, inspicable sadness. So I think、uh, my condition is not bad. You know, I I think China、um, is fast developing. It's has、uh, quite courage because it's a very practical society. It doesn't have much religious or ideology there. But at the same time, it has no vision, so it has its beauty part because it's quite blind. It really reflects human condition in very dramatic period of time, and also with this kind of background. So there's quite some opportunities there, but I think now everybody sees the opportunity, but not seeing the danger. I think the danger is much bigger, and the the problem. And the potential problem is much bigger. And that problem is not only a Chinese problem; it's a world problem because China is being accepted by, you know, economically and politically by the world. And the, the structure are、uh, somehow are built into a world、uh, common structure. So, of course, nobody can really、uh, predict. But、uh, I'm. Sh- but the the what can be predicted is there. There will be a tremendous,、uh, dramatic, dramatic change, and it's going to be very different from now.、Um, I'm very hopeful because I'm very grateful of life. You know, this is a ch- single chance, and we all had equally. And、uh, you know, that、uh, doesn't matter. What condition you have, poor or rich or better opportunity or less fortunate, we have、uh, this beautiful life. We have to fight for these rights. 
and uh, this is the only thing we, we need to do you know, to protect their rights. I think in general life is in danger. I have good friends, one day we were in the party, next day he write to me, wait, wait, you know, I have a very bad cancer, I just found out. He's a nice man, he's healthy, you know, he's European, but he would tell me that. Life is in danger every day. Consciousness or not consciousness, you know, we, we are in danger. I see myself as a very fortunate man, you know, have been asked doing this and that, and uh, I'm still uh, trying to be qualified, you know. That's a very modest answer. Uh, which is very absolutely true. <laughs>